been kicked off, and the kickoff is going to go way out of bounds. And flag will be dropped, and they'll bring that one out to the 35-yard line. Split in. Matter of fact, both sides in a single setback. Play action. Throw here to Murphy. Out to the 40. Broke a tackle. He's midfield. They run him into the sideline across the 45 to the 42-yard line. First down and 10 at the 43. Going to throw out of a shotgun. Ball caught. That's Urban Taylor. Taylor's knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Second down and a couple coming up at the KU 35-yard line. Shotgun running backs both sides. Joseph and Farmer. And uh, it's going to be a keeper by McNeil. Trying to turn it into a first down. He's going to be close. High formation behind McNeil. Hand Gartner out over the ball. McNeil under center. Will hand it off. Goes to Farmer. Farmer hits the right side. He gets two to the 30-yard line. Running back to the right. Shotgun. Two wides on the right, one a split in on the left. It's been snapped. Here's McNeil, quarterback draw. Broke a tackle. He's at the 30. He's at the 25. They're running into the sideline and into the sideline at the 20-yard line. McNeil drug down from the backside by Jonathan Lamb. Shotgun again, McNeil. Joseph to his left, Farmer to his right. Out here on this side, the low side of the formation is Van Zant. Tight end left, Carriger. And again, they'll fake the handoff to uh, Farmer. Farmer. Well, block, and they go downfield, and McNeil on the keeper gets it across the 15, and he's finally brought down at the 13. He'll pick up about seven. How about that drive? We'll play right there. It'll be second down and three. Single setback, and McNeil under center. This time he will hand it to Farmer, and Farmer hits the right side, and maybe a half yard. Not a whole lot there. That'll bring up a third down, and still three will be needed by Texas A&M. Texas A&M in the NCAA is their rushing offense, number 18 in the nation coming into the game. Out of the eye, it will go, and this is Lewis, and Lewis will get a first down. His first carry of the day across the 10 to the 9, first and goal. Texas A&M at the Jayhawk 9. Favors the hash mark to the left side. Shotgun McNeil. Courtney Lewis to his right. Two wides here on this side. One of them will be Schrader. And there's a draw and a handoff delayed. Goes to Lewis. Lewis gets back to the line of scrimmage. Here's the second and goal. Germany went in motion. He's going right to left. And this time again it's the fake into the line. The pitch goes to Joseph. Left corner. He is in. Did he get in? Yeah, they say he did. He did get in. I thought he stepped out at the one, but apparently he did get in. That's a touchdown for Keith Joseph from nine out. The Aggies take the first lead of the game by a score of six to nothing with 10.42 to go in the first. You start at the uh, 35, and they take it all the way down to the uh, field for a touchdown. It's an interesting play there. They fake the inside handoff, and you don't expect very often to run an option play with your big fullback, but, well, Keith got outside there did a nice job. And for Keith Joseph, his second touchdown of the season. Low snap. Uh, Pagram's extra point is up and good, and the Aggies have taken a 7 to nothing lead over KU with 10.42 to go in the first. Pagram will kick off for Texas A&M, and it will be a short one. It will be taken at the uh, 10, back to the 20. Broke out of there to the right side, out to about the 28-yard line. It's a quarterback draw. Steps up, he'll run with it. He gets out across the 30, goes to the 32. He got four yards. So, so second down and six. Shotgun Barman with running backs on both sides of it. He's got Green on one side. He's got Randall on the other. He's throwing one here on this side, and that is a catch across the 50 to the Aggie 48-yard line. Jackson Appel on Charles Gordon. First down and 10. KU now at the Aggie 48. Barman under center drops back. He's going to throw one. It's caught over the middle. And they're going to get good yardage across the 40. Broke out. I think he's going to. He's got a chance to score. And he cuts back to his right. He is going to score. That's going to go Clark Green, 48 yards. And it's 7-6 to six, just like that. The Aggies scored at 10-42. So a little over a minute later, they get on the board. Here's the ball snapped, spotted, up and good. We're tied at 7 at Kyle Field. They are ready to kick off. Here it is. And this one's going to go right through the end zone with that prevailing south wind. The Aggies started first time at their 35. This time they start at the 20. So tied now at 7 with 9.28 to go in the first. At the line of scrimmage, McNeil under center. Joseph and then Farmer play action. Here's McNeil looking to throw. Now he's thinking about running. He's rolling to his left, and he is running to the 25, to the 30. He broke a tackle as a man reached out and tried to grab him as he gets across the 30 and out of bounds at the 35-yard line. A 15-yard run by Reggie McNeil. 
At 73, scoring offense is 31. Here's first down and 10 at the 36-yard line. The handoff goes to Farmer. Farmer fight. That's tough yards. He got maybe, uh, going to give him two, I guess. Shotgun running back to his right again. McNeil throws, caught Carter out to the 40-yard line. And now they'll give him the 41 as he's wrapped up in a hurry. That's a gain of about three. The Ags now will face a third down coming up and will need just past their own 45. Tight end is Carriger, and he's off to the left, all almost in the middle of the field. It's been snapped, and here's the quarterback draw by McNeil. Looks for a block, turns the corner. He's got the first down, and he's to midfield. They run him out across the 50 at the 49-yard line. Both of these teams are on the negative side on the turnover margin. KU is a minus one. The Aggies into the game at a minus nine. Again, the shotgun. McNeil waiting to throw. Now he's going, and he's got Schrader caught. Caught it at the 27. He goes to the 24. Double team there and wrapped up by Amadi and Lamb. And how about Chad Schrader? Just got his sixth reception of the season. And that one goes 25 for Schrader on that play. And that will be uh, a first down Texas A&M. Motion from the Ags on first down and 10 at the 24-yard line. Lewis gets the handoff and he busted up the middle, but that's tough and it gets to the 22. Clock just rolled under seven. The game is tied at seven. We're playing in the first quarter at Kyle Field. And again, it goes to Courtney Lewis, and no one looked like it was going to open up. And the only man that had a chance at him got him around the ankles, and he carries to the 18-yard line. So here's the third down for Texas A&M at the KU 18-yard line, needing the 14. And again, it looks like the quarterback draw, and they were all over that. McNeil stopped behind the line, dropped back at the KU 21. Going to try a field goal here, Chris, from the 27. It's a 37-yard effort. The angle is back to the right. Sure is. He's on the left hash. Todd Pegram gets set to kick. Don Mulebach is a snapper. There it is. The ball is down. The kick is up and away. Looks like he didn't get all of it. The, sh the ball is short. No good. 5.42 left to go. The game's still tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Outstanding high school quarterback getting his first action. And it's a crossing a handoff as they keep it on the ground. And they're going to get about nine out of that. Slot on the uh, left side. And he got two wides on the right. He's going to move under center. Looked like shotgun at the first. The Ags were coming. Here's the pitch going right side. Green got the first down. He goes into the sideline across the 30 at the 32-yard line. First down and 10. Ball now at the KU 33. And it's a keeper. Barman spreading out to the right side after a uh, fake to the handoff on Green. And he's going to be stopped as he hits the line of scrimmage and driven back south. He's got two wides on both sides, and he just put a man in motion. Barman drops back. He's going to throw. And it's off the uh, fingertips of Lionel Anderson. As Anderson looked up, and that one was right on top of him. It's a catch he should have made, but he didn't. Here's third down and 14 at the KU 29. Outside pressure. Barman throws, and the Aggies are all all over that, Scott Stacane wrapped it up as they tried a middle screen, and Stacane was there to read that one. I think Green caught it, he was slung to the ground. Big time play by Stacane. All right, and apparently a punt cutting, uh, coming up here by Curtis Anzel. He's averaging 40.5 per kick on 27, along of 64. He's had one blocked. He's on the Ray Guy list, takes the snap. Line of scrimmage again was the 27. Here's the catch at the 31 by Van Zant. His return will be about six or seven yards. He goes out to the 38-yard line. Long now in at the quarterback position. Offset in the backfield. Long's under center. Put Joseph in motion. He snapped it. He throws it this side. It'll be caught by Van Zant across the 40 at the 42-yard line. Here's the second down and six. The eye again behind Long. Play action by Long. Steps up. Throws this way. Caught on the sideline. First down. Across the 50. Murphy made the catch at the KU 47-yard line. In KU territory now at about the 46-yard line on first down and 10. The handoff Lewis. He's dancing around in the middle. Little Texas two-step there as he gets maybe to the 45, and that was a yard gain. Here's the second down play. Long from a shotgun. Got uh, Courtney Lewis to his right. Two wides on the left. Both of those in as flankers, and he's just giving it to Lewis. And again, he's dancing around there in the backfield, and on a second down and nine, he gets it to the 40. Here's the third down and four. A shotgun again. Two wides on the left. Tight end right. Here's Long. He's going to throw, and it is... Deflected up in the air and then intercepted by KU. Brought down at the 18. The return comes back across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Johnny Lamb just got the interception, and that is his first of the season. 
Like well, Kansas was at the line, and then they had a legal procedure, so we'll go ahead and uh, take that ID. Let's break here for station identification on this, the Texas Aggie Sports Network. Okay, they backed him up by five yards in a legal procedure. Kansas now with the ball at their 17-yard line. They get this on an interception by Lamb. Barman, the quarterback, in a shotgun with running backs on both sides. He starts to run the option to the right side, keeps it, turns the corner, gets across the 20 to the 24-yard line. Snapped on second down, throws, caught across the 30 out to the 34-yard line. That is enough for a first down. Tied at seven, first down and 10. Kansas the ball now at their own 35. They showed motion, and here he is. I oh, got away from Stacane. Barman almost wrapped up, and will take a loss, however, on the plays. He gets it back. He dropped back across the 30, gets it back to the 34-yard line, lost a yard, and I thought Stacane was going to get a jersey tackle there, but it didn't work out for him. Adam Barman, the freshman, playing his first game today. Quarterback draw. Barman coming back to this side, caught from the backside, and he got back to the 35. He got a yard. It's third down and 10. First 15 minutes of clock time has been played, and the game is knotted at seven apiece as we go to the second. All right, third down play and 10 from the 35. Barman rolling right first play, second quarter, looking to throw. He will, and it is a catch, and it will not be enough for the first down. Out to the 44-yard line. That catch made by Gordon again, and he took some punishment on that one. They're coming out with a muddled type off uh, well, offense here. Kind of a, a little swing and gate. And uh, now comes a pitch back to this side, and they went for it on fourth down. They actually moved. I think that was Green up under the uh, quarterback. They had three or four guys way out to the left side. They lined up four guys over the ball with a man moving in under the quarterback. It was not Barman, and then they pitch as they start the option to the right side and got it across the 45 to the 47 and just converted on a fourth down. There were no intentions at all of punting the ball. Halloween weekend, a little trickery, Dave. <laughs> well, how about that little formation? First down and 10 as they convert a fourth to a first. They have it at their own 47. Short drop, Barman throws. It's a catch across midfield into Aggie territory now at the 47-yard line. Two wides there on the right, one left. Tight ends on the left side of the formation. That's the short side. Head motion. Green got the handoff. Nice hole. Breaks it across the 45, and he'll take it to the Aggie 41-yard line. That's a first down. Tied at 7, 12.48 to go. First down and 10 at the Aggie 41. Play action. Barman wide open to run to the left side. He only got a first down out of this. Steps out at the point needed for the first down and goes out at the 30 and a half. Two wides on the right, one on the left. Pitch, Randall looking for the right side. Turned up, started to turn the corner. He does. Breaks out of a tackle. Maintains his balance and he goes to the 19-yard line. He just got 11. First down and 10, the Aggie 19. Kansas with the ball. Motion right to left. Barman. It's a uh, delay to Randall. Randall gets back to the line of scrimmage to the 19. He's got a trips formation on the left. Throws, and it, it's a catch. It should be with a tie in. A flag goes down as the catch is made. They get that one across the uh, 15 and out at about the Aggie 12-yard line. And Brandon Radu. One of the split ends, or Rideau it is, who had just made that catch. And it's a hold, and that is against KU. They were trying to run that little jailbreak scheme, which they actually did, and they got the ball to the right guy, but it looks like either the running back or one of the linemen that was getting downfield grabbed somebody. Rideau is 6'4", 190, another Texan. He is out of Beaumont with uh, 24 receptions, 380 yards, and scored three touchdowns this season. Barman under center. Green is the tailback. He's about five yards back. Barman now wants to run, and he'll go nowhere. Montgomery wraps him up. The Aggies were coming up the middle and from both left and right side and dropped back at the 29-yard line. In a shotgun on third and 20. There's the snap. Roll to the left, looking to throw. Side armor, and it is a catch at the 25. That got about four yards. Beck lines up on the left hash. It is a 42-yard effort awaiting the snap from Hood. Here it is. The ball is kicked. It's up. It's in the wind. It's no good. Score is 7-7. Seven seven. We've got 10 minutes and one second remaining in the second quarter. And we have 10.02 remaining in the first half, and the Aggies and Kansas are tied at 7. The Aggies get it on a missed field goal. First down and 10 at their 25-yard line, and the handoff, they'll try the middle. 
And maybe a couple there out to the 27, and Farmer got the uh, carry, and just about everybody out on the field, maybe with the exception of the uh, quarterback, McNeil, now who has returned, was in on that tackle. Ball's at the 27-yard line, Aggie into the field, and it will be McNeil on that uh, fake into the line. Now he makes the uh, pitch across the 40. Here is uh, Carter across midfield and down to the 44-yard line. Farmer to the right of McNeil in the shotgun, bobbles the snap, still controls it as he got it on a bounce. Now he's going to throw deep. Here it is, down at the 8, maybe the 7-yard line. That's a catch, and that's Murphy at the 6. Reached out, brought it in. That was a juggling act by McNeil, and then just as cool as he can be, will throw deep, and inside the 10, it goes 38 yards to the Murph. First and goal, A&M. Season high, six receptions, 98 yards against Oklahoma State. Now has, what, 28 receptions, and he's up to 100 for his career. The Aggies keep it on the ground and get it across the uh, five on a first down and goal at the six of Kansas to the four-yard line on Farmer. Maybe the three. Full house backfield, too tight. Second and goal ball at the four. The Aggies with it. Van Zant. Breaks the full house, goes in motion, went right, then back to his left. Here is McNeil under some pressure, running sideline, and he's going to throw this one away. Threw it out of bounds beyond the uh, left side of the end zone. So now a third down and goal coming up from the four. Germany's in there. Germany will line up off the right hip of Carragher, actually in the backfield. It's a shotgun on a third down and goal at the KU four. McNeil. Fakes, keeps, turning the corner, looking for Touchdown. the end zone. Got it, TD, McNeil. How Fakes does he do it. that, David? He does a great job on that fake, on that inside handoff, and then starts out, and he had the option that time to keep it or run with it, and he ran with it. And the Aggies just got their second touchdown of the game with 7.47 to go until halftime. Here's... Todd Pagram now on to try the extra point. Long will hold. The uh, kick is up, and the kick is good. We have 7.47 until halftime, and the Aggies now lead KU by a score of 14-7. to 7. All right, and they have deployed their main guy, Greg Hagens, here on the left side of their, as we look at it, their kickoff formation. Is coming in his direction. It's going to go back into the end zone. He'll take the knee on the E in Texas, off to the northwest corner here. The man, it was a uh, high school quarterback, huh, Tim? Yes, sir. Kansas now with the ball at the 20 to throw it out here to the right side, and that is Randall. He's across the 25 to the 26 yard line. Clark Green, the lone setback motion. Green got the handoff, tries the middle, has a first down. He's got about 10, maybe 11 yards out across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Shotgun Barman, and he's protected by running backs on both sides. Out in the flats, left side, Randall makes the catch. He's to the 40 and hit from the backside and falls forward to the 42. Somebody blasted him. David Ross on the pursuit. <laughs> Oh, he hit him pretty hard and uh, looked like he was shot out of a cannon. He actually kind of helped him there a little bit, but still brought him down as he goes down at the 42. Two wides on the right, tight end right side, split in left, single setback. Barman's under center. Ags may have jumped into the neutral zone. They're going to throw sideline, and that is incomplete. Out of bounds down around the Aggie 30, intended for Brandon Rideau. His first down. And 10 draw, Barman across the 50. He's to the Aggie 41-yard line. A first down carry, just got about 11 on that. The freshman Barman on the draw, gets it across midfield. And a nice run by that young man to the Aggie 42-yard line. It's first and 10 for the Jayhawks. Trips formation, left side, tied in right, start the option. Go back to the left, there goes the pitch. Green, he's at the 40, he's at the 35. And he just put... Jackson Appel on his backside as he goes out at the Aggie 31-yard line. A pickup of 11. They move the running back green right to left. Barman. Aggies are coming up the middle. It's been uh, going to stop everything here. Apparently, uh, Kansas did something wrong. That was first and 10. Should be a penalty against the Jayhawks. Yep. It'll be a first down and 15 as they'll move it back to the Aggie 36. Clock 524, 14 to 7. Texas A&M with the lead. 
First down and 15 back at the Aggie 36. Shotgun green. Handoff is a left half back out of that shotgun. Gets about four as he gets back to the 32. It'll be second down and 11. Second down and 11. They need the Aggie 21. Line of scrimmage, the 32. Shotgun trips right, split in left. Back's coming again. They've set up a screen here on the right side. That'll be read well by AM. Gordon caught it. Gordon, maybe the line of scrimmage. Barman in the shotgun. Green to his left. Tie it in right. Three wides on the left. Snap drops back to the 40. Looking to throw. Now he's going end zone. And he has a man. And it is a catch at the one yard line. And the catch made by Gordon. 14 to 7. Two tights, two splits, handoff went to uh, Green. Uh, did he get in? They're saying he's down inside the one. They tried the middle and did not get in. Barman under center. He'll keep, and he's trying to get in. And I don't think so. They say oh. no, he did get in. Man, the linesman here on this side has just signaled touchdown. So from a yard out, Barman will get it in. And this is Johnny Beck. Extra point is up. Beck's extra point is good. Tied at 14. 2.57 to go. The Aggies still with time to put points on the board before halftime. As he has marched his team back now twice from uh, seven-point deficits. Down seven to nothing. Tied it at seven. Down 14 to seven. Ties it at 14. Here's a the little knuckleball type kick that'll be picked up by Murphy at about the 12. Broke one tackle across the 20. Got a the 30. He's at the 40. They're closing on him as he gets it across midfield and into the bench, and they will spot him out at the 43-yard line. Long has come back in as the uh, quarterback with an eye formation. Play action by Long. Rolls right, looking to throw. He does. Van Zandt first down. And he almost went out. Now they said he did go out of bounds at the 31-yard line. First down, the Aggies. Van Zant, 12-yard catch. First down and 10. The Aggies now at the KU 31. The game tied at 14, 243 until halftime. Here is Long. He's caught in the backfield, leaps forward. Lost a half a yard as he goes down at a yard at the 32-yard line. Carragher, they put him in motion. Here is a end around Murphy, and Murphy is going to get away from the first man or chasing him. They got, that's a big loss, folks. That's all the way back to the 40-yard line. That was a double reverse, and Murphy was caught back at the 40-yard line. Two wides on the left. Ashmark right. Here's Long. Throws it this way. Caught by Lewis. Broke one tackle at the 40. Gets across the 35 to the 33. Oh, we're going to get and called a for a personal foul there. And m will. Yeah, a late hit there at the end of the play. All right, so flag went down with 108 to stop the clock. At the 33, came up shy on the first down by about 11 on a third down and 19 to bring up a fourth Dimble. down. Dimble. Personal foul. Personal foul. Offense, Offense, 15, 15 yards. yards. The down would be fourth. Fourth down and a dead ball personal foul against a and Line of scrimmage now is the 48-yard line. Turn man standing at the 10. That is Gordon. It's a good snap. Oh, nice high kick. Let's see what about depth here. And it one's going to take a KU bounce at the 24 and then bounce south and be killed at the 27-yard line. And they will go to Green. Green hit as he takes it at the line of scrimmage and goes to the 31-yard line. He's moved two here on the right. Both are flankers, and one goes in motion. That's the open side. And once more, they will go on the ground. They'll take it straight ahead to the 35-yard line, and apparently that'll be the last play of the uh, first half. So we'll take it to the intermission. The game tied at 14 between Texas A&M and Kansas tied at 14. Dave, this first half, I don't know if I've ever seen a game is uh, obviously the score are tied, but it's uh, the numbers are almost tied. Pretty interesting game. They've kicked off. Hagan's about a yard deep to the 5 to the 10. Cutting it uh, the other way. Oh, somebody caught him, and he went down like the old rag doll. Is that Jones? Ray Ray Jones. At the 15-yard line of Hagan's. Oh, man. It's under center with a single setback. And on an end around, it's been put on the ground. And all the way back to the four, the Aggies closing on him. Fumble! Fumbled it, was he down? Aggies, Aggies touchdown! Touchdown, a and Fumbled on an end around by Derek Mills. Picked up at about 
the four by Jackson Appel. Just talked about turnovers a moment ago, and a touchdown scored by Appel. It is his second touchdown of the season. Fumble recovery at the four as Mills took it, started to go right to left, stopped, pirouetted, and then the ball came free. And then picked up at the four-yard line by Appel, and he got it in. Action Jackson, boy, I tell you, he is a man in the right place at the right time. Nice job, defense. Looks like Byron Jones caused the uh, fumble. Uh, Mills, after he had picked it up that second time. And then we're going to go to break here. 21 to 14 now the Aggies over KU, and the Ags will kick off again. From the 5, back to the 10, back to the 15, back to the 20. Hagens bounced around at the 20-yard line and then finally tugged to the ground by the Aggie kickoff team. Shotgun Barman at the 20, has the ball out in the flats, off the uh, hands on the ground. Is that a Balls fumble? It is. Is that a fumble? No, they're calling it no, incomplete, incomplete pass. incomplete pass. Well, I don't know. That's a... Yeah, he... Official on this side, the referee, John Laurie, was looking at the linesman on this side, and he was saying, no, that was an incomplete pass. So he's moved up under center. Still has split backs. Starts the option. Coming right side. Turns, and he gets out to the 25-26 yard line. Aggies lead 21-14. They back the tie it on off the line. They put him in motion right to left. Under center, Barman, the uh, throw. Caught out in the flats on the left side. And a good open field tackle. Jackson Appel. Anderson, the tight end, was the motion man. And he did not get the first down. They're the 12th man in the background. And those both man towels waving. High snap. Controlled. Van Zant backing up. 18-yard line. First man missed him. Back to the 20. Second man missed him. Third and fourth man will not. And he goes down at the 21-yard line. First down and 10 for AM at their 22. Hash right. Single set back. Play action. Here's a throw, and it's incomplete. Down around the ankles of Murphy at about the 27-yard line. They say he scooped that up off the turf. Second down play coming up. Play action by McNeil. He's going to throw under a lot of pressure. Sideline around. Oh, it's Murph. Murph all the way across Urban the Taylor. 40. To us. Taylor, number yes. nine. Taylor at the 32. Nine, not five. Just caught that one. And that one's going to scoot down the sideline for 46 yards. First down and 10. They've spotted it at the 32. Hash mark right side. Two wides left. you got to tie it in on the right side. Short side of the formation. Goes to Lewis. Lewis broke a tackle. 30. He is juking a man as he goes into the sideline at the 22. That's the point needed for the first down. High formation behind McNeil. And a man flexed out. It goes to Joseph. Joseph, a couple to the 20-yard line. Keep Joseph. Two wides here on the left. Tight ends to the right.